The British soap opera EastEnders has been a cultural talking point ever since it launched back in the mid-80s. Which I personally find weird, because every single time I've tried to watch it, I've found it to be one of the most boring, nondescript things imaginable. Maybe I just watched the wrong episodes, because I'm told that occasionally they do some really stupid things. But regardless, every time I've watched it, I still reach the end of the episode and start wondering what it was that I'd just spent 30 minutes doing. In that way, EastEnders is a very good simulation of what it would be like to have short-term memory loss. So if that sounds appealing, knock yourself out. So, um, let's deconstruct this thing. Um, so one of the most recognisable EastEnders characters is this... one. Um, he's the most recognisable EastEnders character because... He's, um, he, he's one of the ones that doesn't have any hair. And he also, um, has, like, an accent. And and there was that one time he had a crack problem or something, or, or was it crystal meth? I can't remember. Also, among the other memorable faces is this one. And, um, and his name is M Mr. P Person. And he, he, like, is one of the ones that does have hair. And, um, look, all right, I'm not going to go into details, all right? They're stock characters and stock life issues. Soap operas pretty much don't have identity by design. They're just there to apply a standard formula to societal pressure points. That's pretty much it. And anything that might appear to be passing for identity is mostly projected onto them by the viewer. If you're ever involved in a conversation about popular TV, often there will be someone who'll say something along the lines of being able to name X amount of characters in insert soap opera that they consider to be universal and usually watched at least once in your life by everyone here is part of what makes you insert your nationality here. And if you do end up in that time-old stereotypical conversation, I encourage you to follow that vague sentiment that they expect you to just nod along to for some fucking reason and go, hmm, well yes, it's true, Coronation Street is like a British institution, instead with, actually, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Alright, yes, soap operas are supposed to be a reflection of modern Britain on screen, but do the characters themselves or the issues they deal with actually matter? Like, what do we know about Phil Mitchell? He's a bloke, he's bald, he drinks in pubs, he had a drug problem. This could just as easily be almost anyone. That's why soaps have such long lifespans and characters get replaced all the time and the same issues can be repeated, and nothing ever changes except for the fact that some time has passed. The difference between the lack of change and progression in a soap from conventional drama and comedy, in spite of its revolving door cast, is all in its application of the status quo. Lots of drama and sitcoms are built around things staying the way they are in some way because your show has got to be centred around a concept that allows for as many ideas as possible to milk out of it. Friends is about a bunch of pretentious airheaded knobs sat about in a coffee shop. The IT crowd is about a couple of man-children who work in a basement with their sort of normal boss. These are formats that last a while because they're ideas that allow for a lot of different situations, but they can't last forever because inevitably someone is going to want to leave at some stage to advance their career, or one of the key writers is going to run out of ideas. And if a key member of the team is swapped out, the entire dynamic of the show would change along with it. And while stuff like, say, The Simpsons started out with a foundational idea that changed over time, the essential concept in characters are mostly kept the same, because they're the most important fixtures of the show, whereas soaps don't really have that. They're not really about anyone or anything in particular. They're pretty much just 30 minutes a day of human beings in their natural habitat. What makes things like EastEnders different is the changes that have happened over its lifetime are societal progress. If you watch them back, 80s soaps are very different from contemporary ones, but the change hasn't so much been an artistic one, consciously made by the creators behind it, and more just the fact that it exists. And the world around it does the change in progression for it. And it's for that reason that soaps are even more an entertainment product than anything else in the entertainment industry. A soap opera is essentially like any other electrical item in your house. Your kettle, your fridge, your iron, your vacuum cleaner. Electrical appliances change over time. The designs change, the colour scheme changes, the old one breaks, features are either discontinued or replaced, or the entire system by which it sucks is replaced with a different one. 
But the purpose of the soap is to be a reflection of modern society. And short of broadcasting a static caption that says, Now it is soap opera time. Place a mirror over your TV screen and start arguing with your spouse or loved one now. EastEnders is what we got. The format is the star, not the content. It's there to fulfill a function like any appliance. You could literally replace every character's name and every line of dialogue with some vague indiscernible noises, and every episode of it basically looks the same. There, that conversation could either have been someone's having a divorce, a breakup, an affair, I'm an alcoholic, I was the victim or perpetrator of assault, battery or abuse, I was your hit and run driver, I put someone in the hospital, I'm having a mental breakdown, someone's declared a jihad on me, God appeared to me last night in the form of a burning bush, I'm having a drug problem, or all or some of the above. Because it doesn't matter, it all follows the same rhythm. The soap opera is there to remind you that no matter how much you think your life sucks, there are always people out there having even worse ones than you. And they're doing it on purpose, the stupid twats. 